Is the Radeon HD 6970 still a good GPU in 2017? Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to figure that out today. On our plate, in terms of the games we are benchmarking today, we have PUBG, FIFA 18, Overwatch, and of course BF4. So, let's go ahead and start off with 2017's most overplayed game of the year. We have PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. And how to run? Horribly. Why to run horribly? Uh, I don't know. I mean, driver support for the card has died and GPU util utilization was very low. And that's not because of my CPU, I can tell you that much. The other cards I have tested did not have the same issue. And going on Reddit and the Steam forums provided the same issue is apparently pretty common. So who knows? Anyway, moving on to our next game, we have FIFA 18. How did FIFA 18 run? Amazingly well. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I actually expected this game to run horribly, but I guess FIFA 18 can run on a potato. Because at Ultra settings at 1080p, we were getting about 70 FPS on a card that came out in 2010. That is impressive, in a way. Anyways, moving on to our third game today, we got Overwatch. How did Overwatch run? Overwatch also ran better than I expected. What is with me? I seriously underestimate some of these cards, and sometimes I overestimate them. But in general, at 1080p settings at medium, Using the same map that I usually use to benchmark, we got about 94 frames. 94 frames. That is beyond playable, guys. And honestly, good job. Good job, AMD, in making such a card. And you know what? Let's bump it up to the highest settings possible. And that is epic. Like epic games, but epic -er. Yeah, anyways. 46 FPS, outstanding. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and move on to our last game today. And that is, of course, Battlefield 4 which also has graphical issues on this card, surprisingly. And why are we doing four instead of one? Wait a second, one's also DirectX 11. Why don't you benchmark one? Well, there's a problem. This card refuses to run Battlefield 1 for me for some reason. It also refuses to start Battlefront 2, which I want to benchmark, but apparently you need newer Radeon drivers and AMD drop support. What are you, NVIDIA? Anyways, yeah guys, overall the uh, card ran the game perfectly fine. At medium settings, 49 FPS is, you know, it's not 60, but hey, it's playable and bumping up to at ultra. Wait a second, I messed up there for a second. Sorry. Ultra settings, we're getting about 49 FPS, which I do believe is beyond playable and is perfectly fine. Though, just bump it down in lower settings. You'll be a much happier person. Anyways, guys, you know what? Let's go ahead and move on to, of course, the question that we are answering today. And that is, is it still good? Yes, it is if you can figure out a way, way to make the games run. I also tried benchmarking Need for Speed and that refused to run as well. It kept giving me errors, but hey, if you can get past those errors and figure it all out, then yeah, the car is still pretty good. Drop down the res, drop down the graphics, and you can still play anything 